Hey everyone, today we're going to look at a pretty simple example of the product rule and we'll actually have a little bit of the chain rule embedded as well. Um, so here we have a simple question uh, just asking for, we're given a function y equals 3x to the power of 7 times sine of 4x and it asks us to find dy by dx. dy by dx is really just the derivative of the function y in terms of x. So we're looking at this function here and we're trying to differentiate y in terms of x. So we start by you know writing dy by dx equals and then we look at the function and we notice that there's one trigonometric function sine of 4x times one non-trig function. Um, since we can't sort of put those together uh, right now we can't multiply it out and get it in any better form than it is right now we have to use what's called the product rule and if you can remember sort of this uh, I guess wording that goes along with it it'll become embedded in your minds and you'll do this automatically so I like to remember it as the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first so if we think about these two terms I'm gonna call 3x to the power of 7 the first and sine of 4x the second, those are kind of our two terms um, when we're thinking about the product rule. So again, that wording is the derivative of the first, so 3x to the power of 7, we bring the 7 down, 7 times 3 is 21, times x to the 1 less than 7 is 6, so that's the derivative of the first, times the second, so that's just as it is, so the second is sine of 4x, that doesn't change plus the derivative of the second which uh, the derivative of any sine function is cos of that same function so we have cos of 4x now here's where the chain rule comes in 4x is also a function of x so we need to multiply by the derivative of whatever that function is so the derivative of 4x is 4 and then back to the wording it's plus the derivative of the second times the first. So the first is just 3x to the 7 as is. Now most, so that is our derivative right there, that's dx, dy by dx. Now most tests when they ask you to find dy by dx you don't have to simplify any further than this so we would just leave this and this is our final answer. Um, the, the key part is remembering the product rule is the differential of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Um, and the key here was that when we differentiate sine of 4x, it's cos of 4x times the derivative of what's inside, which is 4.